Okay, assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon to everyone. Um, so I'm very sorry because I cannot uh, do this uh, briefing uh, with you guys uh, on real time. Uh, so I guess I'll just um, record uh, this briefing uh, and you can actually play this during uh, the uh, briefing session uh, today around 3 p.m. So for the ruminant rotation, because you guys have gone through... Uh, what do you call that the online uh, rotation last semester so you did not get um, the um, the hands-on practical or practice uh, on the ruminant um, rotation last semester so i hope that uh, for this semester there shouldn't be any problem there shouldn't be any uh, third mco or anything like that so hopefully you guys can come back i mean you've already come back to the campus but Hopefully that we can actually do this face-to-face uh, -face, uh, and uh, hands-on practical when you have uh, uh, when we, we will start off uh, with your um, rotation this semester. Uh, all right. So basically, for three nine three two the uh, the uh, rotation uh, ruminant rotation. Uh, so uh, I mean for the ruminant section there will be two units ruminant one and ruminant two. And as for the attendance, uh, I would like you guys to uh, sign in your attendance at the Large Animal and Military every morning. If you cannot make it, please WhatsApp me. You, you guys know that um, I'm reachable through WhatsApp. Uh, or if you don't have SMS, which I doubt, you can always text me. Uh, send me an SMS or anything like that. You have my phone number or you can email me. Uh, but I prefer uh, you guys to WhatsApp me or uh, any, any kind of uh, uh, texting method. Uh, through phone. So in case of emergency, uh, if you're sick or anything like that, please submit your uh, medical certificate or MC from the PKU. I mean, uh, most of the time you guys would not be going to the PKU. Uh, you guys will be going to um, other clinics. Uh, so I think that will be acceptable. I think uh, the, the rules is actually that if you get the MCs from uh, outside the clinics, you have to endorse. You have to get it endorsed. But I think um well um i'll give it away uh if you have like um mc from outside or if you have any like emergencies or family emergencies or anything like that um, um you can uh, just uh bring forward your uh, i mean the death certificate of your fa close family members uh to me uh and you have to replace if you miss one uh one day of rotation okay other than that i will not entertain any any excuse Okay, um, I know that um, previous semesters, I mean, um, one of your family members, like your siblings, uh, you have to attend your siblings' uh, weddings and everything. Um, well, I cannot see. I mean, you, you should know that um, this semester is ongoing uh, and uh, we have not gone through uh, the proper rotation, the clinical rotation and everything. So I guess that you should be paying um, special attention to this semester's um face to face rotation, so I hope that within uh once your rotation has started, there shouldn't be any kind of um this kind of excuse. All right, so uh because we have two ruminant, uh for the ruminant one every Thursday you got you guys will be going to farm fresh, um and for the ruminant two, um uh, perhaps um if we have any cases, uh I mean it would be like a, a typical um uh. uh what do you call that routine farm visit to our ladang angkat one of the ladang angkat so you guys will be going to the farm or if you have like a, um um what the cases you guys uh should be doing that as well or if tpu um uh, has called us for uh any case um so we will be, we will be entertaining um cases at tpu as well all right so for the remaining one uh because you guys will be going to farm fresh the activities in the farm fresh would be just uh uh, what do we call that? Uh, like uh, HHP could have a program like uh, hoof trimming or CMT. I mean, it depends on the farm fresh. What will be the activities? So you guys will not be in charge of any warded cases unless instructed. You guys just have to be ready because the priority will be given to the remaining two. You guys have to sign in by 9 a.m. Thursday before going to the farm fresh. You have to prepare the drug box and everything just in case if you have any cases and you need to treat or anything like that um, 30 minutes prior to leaving so only two students are allowed to prepare the drug box 
which will be helped by uh, one of the VAs, the veterinary assistant. Uh, but you have to be standby for on-call cases Monday to Sunday. Priority should be given to Ruminant 2. Uh, for the Ruminant 2, you guys will be in charge of all warded cases in that week, including the evening treatment. You have to come to the law on Friday the week before to check if there's any warded cases. But the transfer of cases will be on Sunday the week before. For example, if the next Monday is a public holiday, you guys will be responsible for the case. Uh, from Monday until Friday, except Thursday, there will be no morning treatment, but you have to come for the evening treatment. Treatment as instructed by the clinician on duty, which is uh, going to be after 5 p.m. All right. Uh, yeah, meaning that you don't have to come... Usually, um, your students are expected to come um, like before round started around 7, but um, I guess because there's no uh, staff in charge, so you guys don't have to be doing any morning treatment. So, it will be only every Thursday, alright? Uh, and you have to sign in your attendance for all group members in the evening. <laughs> you can actually split the duties among members for the rest of the day or as instructed by the clinicians on duty. So you have to talk, you have to discuss this with the clinician on duty. Although you might have, uh, for example, one patient uh, which re might require like three times of treatment. Um, so, I mean, maybe eight or nine of you in a group. So perhaps like one uh, in the morning, you guys, uh, only three of you will be doing the morning treatment. And then for the second treatment, it will be like another 3%. So if instructed by the VOs, um, um, I mean, um, there might be changes uh, it's instructed by the VOs, so you have to comply um, uh, to comply uh, such an instruction. All right. <clears throat> and then um, on Thursday, you are expected to sign in at 9 a.m. And on weekends, you are expected to sign in at 8 a.m. for the morning treatment. If you have any small remaining cases, uh, you guys can proceed with doing the um, a TPR by taking the TPR by doing the physical examination by, while waiting for the VOs or staff for the treatment. But for cattle, if you have cattle cases, please wait for the staff. You guys cannot enter the pen on your own or, uh, or restrain the animal on your own. So you have to wait up for the stuff but for small small remittance i mean it shouldn't be any any problem you guys can restrain and everything uh perform pe you have to take their tpi and everything and just wait for the staff for the treatment so you're expected to be aware of all worded cases during your rotation week i mean you guys know that we don't have as many cases uh in the election award for remittance but if there are any um even like maybe we can have up to four to five so you are expected each and every one of you are expected to know all these five cases although you might be assigned you might be assigned uh like maybe two person will be taking care of one case but you are expected to know every single case warded in that uh, in that particular week um if there are warded cases sign in at nine before going to the farm Right. If sometimes we have procedures, sometimes we have surgeries to be performed, uh, but you can actually split the, the group into two. So maybe four of you stay in ward, and then another four students will be going to the farm. Uh, and of course, for remaining two, you have to stand by for all on call cases from Monday to Sunday, and you are also expected to prepare the food tip solution on Thursday in the morning. All right. So you have to um, ask the staff around. I mean, we have actually um. Uh, post uh, like uh, instructions on how to prepare this uh, food dip solution uh, so you guys have to I mean it's responsible to prepare the food dip solution as for the individual rota marks uh, this will be according to the rubrics I will post this in the uh, Putra Blast okay uh, you don't have to worry about this because I'll be um, assigning the, uh, the the online marking system to the clinician all right and for the case reports and pictures, uh, wherever you go to the farm, please take pictures of the farm. Please take pictures of the uh, patients, the procedures and everything. You have to, uh, yeah, you have to take pictures of that. And uh, for the CLB or the case log book, um, I mean, it is expected for both Romanian 1 and Romanian 2. Um, so this one here, I think uh, I would not be expecting you guys to submit uh, uh, like um, uh, hard copies, but you have to submit it uh, on the Padlet, so it has to be in the soft copies. All right. Uh, and also for the pictures, uh, please upload all the, the the farm visit pictures on the Google folder. 
Okay, I've actually named this uh, shared to your class. So in this folder, because you have uh, many rotation groups, so create a folder for each group rotation. For example, um, name your folder as a group one. Okay, and then inside your group uh, folder, uh, you have to um, upload your picture and please label each of the pictures like this. Okay, so this is actually the folder, right? Uh, failures. Uh, failures will occur if the attendance is uh, not 100%. But however, I think this shouldn't be a problem even if you don't actually set up for the rotation you have you have to replace. But eventually you will not fail. All right. Um, and of course, um, duplicating, uh, if you photocopy uh, any, 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 anything uh, of the UVH documents, so it's actually forbidden for you to remove any of the UVH documents, to take pictures and everything and then post it on the social medias or anything like that. So it's not, it's not acceptable. It's not, um, it's, it's not allowed. Okay. Uh, all the pictures uh, of the patients um, are actually uh, confidential. So you shouldn't be up loading any of the pictures doing procedures, surgeries, treatment, the patients and everything on your social medias. Okay. Uh, and also failures will occur if you change treatments or starting new treatments without prior permission from the clinician in charge. Okay. And also if you instituting uh, the medication wrongly, uh, if it, it is instructed that uh, you have to give it IVs and then, uh, or like um, if it is instructed uh, for this medication to give um, IM, then it is uh, being given like uh, IV, so yeah, you have to face the consequences on that. Um, next is actually skipping rotations on weekends without permission. You are not turning up um, the rotations during the weekend without permission, so fail. Signing your attendance on behalf of your friends will also lead to failure. So usually in this case, I will actually fail the whole group, okay? Even though one person might be doing this, but I mean... Yeah, it's actually teamwork, right? Um, and also any conflict or issue arises pertaining to attitude and behavior will also lead to failure. Any failures will lead to one full day of rotation. And the replacement should be done either during mid sem break or study week or after your finals. Um, yeah, um, so if there's any replacement, please, you have to liaise with me, uh, uh, with Cik Nazim. You have to inform me first uh, and eventually Cik Nazim will... Uh, plan for your replacement uh, so please do not do your replacement on fridays because uh, yeah i mean uh, it is uh, not allowed i mean or it's not um i mean because they are not going out uh, to any farms on friday so uh, uh, replacement every uh, on fridays is uh, usually not uh, recommended okay so i guess that's it for me uh, if you have any questions, please by all means con contact me, WhatsApp me or whatsoever. Uh, I hope it's clear. I will actually upload this in uh, Putra Blast together with the uh, rubrics evaluation form. Alright, so I guess that's it. Thank you very much and I wish you all um, a happy rotation. Welcome back to the campus. Hopefully, we will have like a smooth face-to-face um, -face rotation without having any interruptions with MCO, CMCO, or whatever it is. Um, so thank you very much, guys.